Russian occupiers have suffered further losses in the war against Ukraine, we are talking about more than 1,300 invaders in one day. According to the report of the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Russia has lost 1,360 soldiers killed and wounded, 8 tanks and 42 artillery systems over the past day alone. The total combat losses of the enemy during the full-scale invasion among personnel amounted to approximately 614,950 people. Among the losses in enemy equipment, in particular, 8,582 tanks, 16,736 armored combat vehicles, 17,614 artillery systems and 1,176 multiple launch rocket systems. Russia suffered losses and was forced to retreat after attempting to advance in the embattled front-line town of Vovchansk in Ukraine's northeast, Kiev's military said. In Vovchansk, in preparation for assault operations, the enemy attempted to deliver personnel to the central part of the city, using two tanks and two MTLB armored fighting vehicles, they suffered losses and retreated, the Kharkiv Operational Tactical Group said in a statement posted to its Telegram channel. The Kharkiv group of forces didn't elaborate on Russia's troop losses. Heavy clashes are underway in the war-ravaged Kharkiv region town, which had a pre-war population of 17,000. The Kremlin's forces kick-started an offensive in the Kharkiv region on May 10, seizing a number of villages on Ukraine's northeastern frontier and forcing thousands of civilians to flee, but Ukraine soon said that Russia's push in the region had failed and that Moscow had suffered high troops losses. The Russian army fears the ATACMS tactical missile system more than any other weapon. Despite the fact that the Russians have begun to redeploy their combat aircraft deep into the territory, it is not too late for the Ukrainian armed forces to strike enemy military airfields with the aforementioned missiles, but this requires permission from the United States. This is reported in the article by The Telegraph. The newspaper notes that the American leadership is trying to balance between two priorities, providing Kiev with the assistance necessary to defeat Russia, but not provoking the Kremlin to launch a nuclear strike. According to the author of the article, a large-scale exchange of nuclear strikes could put an end to human civilization in the form in which it exists now. At the same time, this does not mean that Washington will not give Ukraine more freedom to use American weapons. The White House has already adjusted its policy and allowed GMLRS missiles from HIMARS to hit Russian military facilities in the border areas of the Russian Federation from which Ukrainian settlements are shelled. But the Americans still keep the key weapon, ATACMS missiles, on a short leash, the article says. These are ultra-precise missiles that move at speeds exceeding Mach 3, making them virtually inaccessible to air defense systems. The effectiveness of these weapons was proven during the Ukrainian army's strikes on targets in the occupied territories of Ukraine. The newspaper believes that the decision on ATACMS will not prompt Moscow to launch a nuclear response, but will only force it to move its aircraft further away. Recall, in May, the US allowed Ukraine to use HIMARS multiple rocket launchers, GMLRS rockets, and artillery against Russian territory near the Ukrainian border. However, the US and UK still prohibit Ukraine from using US-made ATACMS missiles and British-made Storm Shadow missiles for strikes deeper inside Russia. Despite Russia's withdrawal of aircraft beyond the range of the Storm Shadow and ATACMS missiles provided by the West, a significant number of Russian military facilities remain within the reach of Western weapons. Analysts state that restrictions on Western weapons allow Russian forces to use the shelter space in Russia's deep rear to support military operations against Ukraine. The ISW draws attention to numerous Western media reports indicating that the US government is prohibiting the UK from allowing Ukraine to use Storm Shadow missiles to strike military targets in Russia. The ISW stressed that the redeployment of Russian aircraft from 16 Russian air bases in the ATACMS area of operation does not diminish the importance of allowing Ukraine to use ATACMS against hundreds of other Russian military targets.